What's going on YouTube fam? Today I'm gonna give you guys a quick look at your All-Star KD3s. This is the retro of his All-Star shoe uh, from back in 2011, I believe. Yeah, that's when it was 2011. Uh, before I get into the review, go over the kicks and all that stuff. If you're new and this is your first time stumbling across one of my videos, welcome to my channel. Uh, but look, while I have you here, do me a huge favor. Hit the subscribe button. Click that notification bell. That way when I upload new material, post new content, you get notified. Then you can head to the channel, check out my latest video that I uploaded for you guys. If you're on social media like Instagram, Twitter, you enjoy pictures of sneakers, outfits with sneakers, uh, really anything related to kicks honestly give me a follow you can find me i am at imtmcii and lastly after you watch the video if you enjoy it hit the thumbs up really goes a long way it's a motivator let me know that you guys enjoy my content and just makes me want to keep recording videos when i have new pickups so now that the intro is out of the way for all my first timers we can jump right into this review so this is a, a different one um seemed like the wave and the era of people buying like basketball shoes like this, like performance type basketball shoes and wearing them casually, uh, you know, that's really not the end thing anymore. People don't really do that. But to me, I always liked this shoe when it came out and I still kind of rock uh, like the, the performance basketball shoes with outfits and stuff. I really don't let the trends decide on what I want to wear. So when I saw these, these this shoe was kind of always on my radar. I missed it when it first came out. I have the Galaxy KD4s, but I wanted to get his All-Star KD3 also, just because I'm a huge fan of red. And I have the Kobe's that came out this year and that was all red. So I was like, let me go ahead and complete the collection. So when I saw Nike release pictures and photos and said that they were coming back out with these, these were on my radar and they haven't really like sold out everywhere you can still find them for retail and that's what happened i was just on twitter one day and saw that they were still available on a few sites so i was like let me go ahead and get them it's always been on my radar the shoe isn't really expensive at all and um i don't know i'm just happy i pulled the trigger and got them honestly so uh, one thing i'm happy to see nike doing is you know they're, they're digging in the vault and they're releasing some of the signature basketball athlete you know some of the iconic shoes like lebron they dropped the big bangs uh, Kobe, they had the all-star Kobe sixes. So I hope they continue to kind of dig in the vault and give us some of those iconic colorways of some older models, just for some of us true collectors and fans of some of these players out here. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go over like the different materials and stuff that they used on the shoe. Uh, then I'm gonna go over quality control for a little bit. And then towards the end of the video, I'm gonna lace them up, toss them on feet, go over size and then comfort and all that stuff. So just stick around with me for the whole video. And I pretty much got you guys covered for everything uh, regarding the kicks. All right, so the materials that they use, it's all different kinds of material. That Nike was real heavy into that fly wire technology too back in this era. And you can see the fly wire right here and they got it spelled out and you can actually see it in on here uh there's it's not really a, a a leather type material on here it's a smooth weird feeling material i know if you guys can hear me making that scraping sound but it's a weird kind of material on here on the shoe and then you got the regular like the big open hole mesh uh on the tongue on your laces no extra laces but on one lace you got la because this year the all-star game back in uh you know kd uh okc days you know he he was with the west and he uh the all-star game was in la so back in 2011 so that's why you got the 2011 here and on the laces in la on the other one so they kind of kept it as true as to the original as possible and like i mentioned i don't have the original so i don't have anything to really compare it to but uh like i said once i saw these i was like all right i'm gonna put these on the radar and um so here's the outside and this little material right here this is like um you can kind of hear it when i scrape my finger across it i don't know what you want to call this type of material but it's whatever this type of material is and then like you have this little fused uh swoosh on this side but then on the medial side you have like a little mini swoosh and almost like a little strap like so the kd4s that's when they started to have that strap on here and he's he started to have a similar thing on here with these trees and behind here they have a little message on here and i'll show you guys that it's inspired by you know it's the engineered and fit for kd uh so that's that part of the shoe um the inside you got 
LA 2011 here. And then you got the West on this one. I'll show you guys that outsole. So this outsole is, is like the KD4 outsole. It's pretty much um, real similar to this. I think there's some minor tweaks and changes on here. You see you have the little heart, the Aunt Pearl heart, the AP right there. Um, got the zoom and the toe. Um, and I think that's pretty much it as far as like your materials go on these. Uh, you got the little PlayStation buttons on the back, so with his number and his initials on the back. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. As far as quality control goes, the QC is okay. Uh, some glue marks and stains on the shoe. At this point with Nike, I don't expect anything to ever be flawless and perfect. I'll, I'm, I'm going to always expect like some kind of imperfection or something on the shoe. So they do have some glue marks and stains on here, as you guys can see. But it's nothing major, anything where... I want to just return them it's not bad that bad so the little glue and the little imperfections that's on here you guys really won't be able to see these once they're on feet uh because it's real minimal on this pair so that's the qc uh, i think that's pretty much it as far as the shoes go make sure you guys are getting a good look at everything got this nice padding on the back um i think that's pretty much it as far as the kicks go box you got a kd box black what is the initials right here his signature here come down to your label you got the nike zoom kd3 you got your color breakdown product code open your camera this opens up the nike app take you to nike uh doesn't take you to the shoe or anything like that just bring you to the regular nike app no special tissue kind of sucks feel like that's a missed opportunity they could have had special tissue or at least something with all-star 2011 or something on a tissue but just a regular black box with some regular clear white tissue paper so it is what it is with that all right so that is the kicks um show you guys them one more time before i take them off of here do me leave me a comment let me know what you think about these um do you think the era for when uh like performance basketball shoes will be casually worn will ever come back or you think that era is just going like we'll never ever get back to that ever again like i said i i'll still try and casually pull these off and wear it um Try not to let trends drive how I feel and what I feel like putting on for the day. So let me know how, how you feel about that. Usually reply to you guys in the comments when you guys leave me comments. Uh, if I don't reply to like exactly what you say to me, I'm going to hit like the heart button or the thumbs up button next to your comment just to acknowledge that, hey, I saw your comment. Um, I just didn't ignore it. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about these real curious to hit a take on these but i'm gonna take them off here now lace them up toss them off feet you guys hang tight let's lace them up all right guys here's an on feet look at the kd3 all stars just want to show y'all what they look like really quick on feet um first things first we could kind of just jump right into sizing a medium somewhat narrow foot and i like a snug exact fit and i remember with the like nike performance basketball shoes back in this era i always went true to size and i did that with these and they feel perfect on my feet i think if i would have went down a half size they would have been maybe borderline too snug but going true to size they feel really really good on feet uh, i could have went down a half size if i absolutely had to but i think going true to size just feels a little bit better on the foot than going down a half size if you have wide feet and you want a snug fit, I think you could go true to size and you'll be good. If you want a little bit of room in your shoes and you have wide feet, you might want to consider going up a half size. You might have a little bit more room in the toe, but the width wise, you'll be good to go. As far as comfort goes, to say that the KD3 came out around that 2010-11 window, the technology back then is was really good these are really comfortable for that era and even today's technology it's a really comfortable shoe um much more comfortable than like a dunk or a joint or anything like that just because you know those are technologies from the 80s and this from like 2010 2011. um but here you go man like if i had to rank this on comfort on like a one to a five being like extremely comfortable these are like a four like i can definitely wear these all day long and, and be in comfort. Uh, not any pain or anything like that. I think that this is a really comfortable shoe. And then I just remember with time, 
uh, these just starting to feel better with some age and some some miles and wear on them so here you go I won't ramble and talk anymore uh, like I mentioned earlier if you're new to the channel uh, hit the subscribe hit that notification bell but I'm in the video here I have more videos to record and share with you guys but thank you guys for watching I will see y'all on the next video stay tuned peace